Hello everyone, we're getting to know the women's basketball staff a little better. I'm Blair Carwright. Simeon Hintze is with us. He is the Director of Student Athlete Development, a title that you're seeing a lot more now in college basketball. So Simeon, what exactly does that title entail? You know, a lot of times now, a lot of emphasis is placed on just winning, the, winning in the game of basketball and in any sport. But what that Director of Student Athlete Development title and what that role is, is just making sure that the emphasis isn't missed on the real reason for student athletes are in college, and that's to get a good education and to graduate. So in my role, I spend a lot of time just making sure our student athletes, our women, are just doing the things that they need to do off the court, as well as on the court, but most importantly, off the court. You know, making sure that uh, working in conjunction with our academic counselor, they're doing the things they need to do, making it to their tutor appointments, making it to their study hall assignments, uh, getting to class, uh, getting out in the community, and just uh, being a good face and good representatives of, of Razorback women's basketball. And I know uh, community service is something that's very important to this staff, and that's something that you guys really do put an emphasis on. Yeah, definitely. And, and before I came on board, uh, I, you know, last year was my first year, before I came on board, uh, the women's basketball team, they would be out in the community, but one of the things I, I really want to focus on was to get them out there a little more. And this past year, we really did a good job of doing that, you know, helping with Special Olympics, uh, reading with the Razorbacks, uh, Book Hogs, uh, Sweat Hogs, doing those different things. Uh, we went and, and participated in the ALS Walk. It's just different things, you know, giving back to the community. That's one of the things. We have such a, a good opportunity here as Razorbacks and Razorback student athletes to get out there and, and be an impact in, in the community. And I thought it would just be more, we just need to do it a little more. And I think we did a good job of that. And just moving forward, I hope we can get out there even more. Any big plans for what, maybe to expand the program this, this upcoming year? No big plans right now. I think it's just a matter of just building on what we've done. I know in the grand scheme of things, we're hiring a new director of student athlete development in the Office of Student Athlete Success. So a lot of what we do, we, we want to partner with them. So whenever that new person is brought on, we're just going to work in conjunction with them and just kind of just you know, help them out with the things they need us to do, but also get out there. Some, you know, we, we're getting calls every day. You know, can you do this? Can you do that? And some of them we can do and some of the things we can. But a lot of times we really want to focus on getting into the schools and just working with the kids because with women's basketball, that's kind of our target audience audience, you know, families, young kids, and, and so if we can get out there in those elementary schools and get the kids fired up about women's basketball, that's one of the things we think can help uh, fill this gym out when it's game day. Speaking of family, we see your family often at the games. Tell us a little bit about, away from the court, what's life like for you? Oh my gosh, I, I tell everybody, <laughs> parenting is a tough job. You know, for, for my wife and I, we struggled early on to get pregnant, and, and when we finally did, I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> you know, I mean, I have this kid in my first, the first year he had colic and, and man, it was just rough. But now he's five, he's about to turn six actually in a few days. But it, it's just awesome being a dad. And then I have a, a two year old, that, uh, Sammy's my oldest, Seth is my youngest, and my wife Stephanie, she's actually an assistant principal in Springdale at Elmdale Elementary. But it's just awesome being a dad. I, I mean, that's my number one job. I think more than anything, that's my role, to, to, help, to raise those kids to be respect, respectable men. And hopefully I'm doing a good job with that, but they, they enjoy just being around the athletes and being around the Razorback atmosphere. In fact, we just moved to a new location in Springdale, and now their bathroom in their, in, in their side of the house is a Razorback bathroom. So there's <laughs> stuff all over the place with Razorbacks, and they're loving it. So I, I just enjoy it. Awesome. And of course, when you're a parent, it gives you a different perspective and that probably in, helps you in your job, doesn't it? Oh, I definitely. Because, you know, in my position, I, I look at the, the student athletes on our team, the women on our team as an extension of my family. You know, I have 12 daughters, 12 to 13 daughters that I, I feel like I have to take care of. It's funny, when, when we got pregnant, I was like, please, I just want boys. I don't want any girls. I don't, because I can't, do, I, I don't know what to do with a girl. Yeah. But then, you know, they say God has a sense of humor. So <laughs> now he gave me 12 daughters. So it, yeah, it definitely is. It, you're, you're almost like a parent out there, just trying to mentor them and nurture them and help them to make the right decisions. You know, at this age, you can't make the decisions for them. You can just give them all the tools and tell them the things that they need to know in order to make those right decisions and you just have to send them off on their way and hope they do the right thing. At a younger age, you're like, you're doing this. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 I don't want to. But you make them at that age. But when they're a little older, you just have to nurture them. Hopefully they'll make the right decisions moving forward. All right, well, thanks so much for the time and continued success and keep developing those student athletes. Thank you, appreciate it. For Simeon Hintze, I'm Blair Cartwright for the Razorback Sports Network.